Welcome back to CT3, where we highlight three clips and I'll recap with a few educational pointers to ensure your rights aren't violated on your next encounter with a cop. The channels being featured today are... The camera obstructing you. You can record. I'm recording. This is my First Amendment right. And right now you're violating my Fourth Amendment right. Don't answer their questions, babe. For what reason? You were jaywalking, so what's your name? Uh, actually, I wasn't. I checked yes, both were. ways. I waited for that light to turn green twice. You got a man just get ran over on his bike, and you're over here stopping me for flipping you off. I have the right they to got have everybody ID. in the car for their ID. Okay, what, what, let's get this straight. No, we get nothing straight. I run this. It's not okay? to be ran. It's that yeah. simple. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you won't miss the next episode. Also, the link to these awesome channels are in the description. So if you're looking for updates or just want to show them love, don't hesitate to check out their channels. Go ahead and gently smash that like button so this video will spread and help put an end to police misconduct and also helps educate the uneducated. Let's get right into it. So what's going on? I don't know. Uh, you guys just pulled in like the gangland. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, they've been Make here sure twice. Uh, you need to pat me down, uh, Terry Stoppers. You pocket. can pat me down, ma'am, for your own safety. Your I understand this is a free country. You're on my property right here. So don't. What we got called? You want to pat me down for your safety? Do you feel unsafe, officer? I don't, I don't, I don't know because she apparently does. You got your hand on your gun. Get your hand off your gun. Get your hand off your gun. Why? Why is your hand on your gun? Well, it looks like it to me. You over here like John Wayne, you guys coming to my house. I don't know what's going on here. You come over and tell me get my hand out of my pocket. Did anything physical happen with her today? Was she hit? Was she abused? Earlier today, you already know there was a... a, a I, was, I was not here. I just earlier to today, she attacked a, my wife in front of like four other people. And my wife defended herself. They, she never hit her back. That woman pulled my okay, wife's hair and kicked her in the house. Okay, we need to see. Okay, but that incident was earlier. That has nothing to do with what's going on here. Okay. I can get my wife, ma'am. Stand right there. Stay there. For what reason? You will not obstruct this investigation. How am I obstructing? You're on my property, and at this point, you're trespassing, and I'm asking you to leave. Ma'am, you can leave my property anytime. At this point, you're trespassing. We don't require your services here. No, we're not. Yeah, actually, you are. No, we're not. Okay, then what? what is the need to go to my house and knock on my door? Stay. You need to stay right here. Okay. Well, and what law is that? Do you sus are you detaining me for, for something? I will if you walk up over there. For what crime? Do you We're suspect investigating. Okay, okay. And, and that's okay. your job to investigate. Okay, then. Okay. So you can... Ma'am, there's nobody home. You can go away now. I'm here if you'd like to talk to me. You're knocking on my door. But you just lied and said she was in. No, uh, it doesn't yeah, matter. Okay. There's no, do you have a warrant or do you have a reason for her to open that door? Because she's not going to. Yeah, do not open the door. I'm recording from a safe distance of 20 feet. Like I said, if you walk up there. You guys are obstructing my rights right now. Okay, walk up there and I'll. Are you, are you threatening me now for some reason? Like I said, you will. Is the camera obstructing you? You can record. I'm recording. This is my First Amendment right. That's fine. And right now you're violating my Fourth Amendment right. Don't answer their questions, babe. Right, For what reason? Obstruction. Obstruction. That's my First Amendment right. All right. I want everybody's car because I'm not obstructing on my own car. Right. 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 my white man. My wife doesn't have a street for that. 25, 28 hours. For no reason. Uh, hey, babe, get my phone. I'll get it. When police officers show up at a family home to investigate a dispute between a man's wife and a neighbor that occurred earlier in the day, the officers immediately displayed rudeness toward the husband while trying to ascertain what happened. Such unprofessional behavior not only escalates the situation, but also undermines the officer's ability to gather accurate information. Individuals should exercise caution when disclosing information to police officers, as anything you say can potentially be used against you. The police's decision to use the information provided by the husband to confront his wife about the dispute is a perfect example. The police behavior in this scenario is deeply troubling. Arresting the husband for simply advising his wife not to speak to the officers shows a lack of respect for the family's autonomy and legal rights. It also suggests that the officers were more interested in asserting their authority than in resolving the situation fairly and justly. 
This kind of behavior can damage the relationship between law enforcement and the community, leading to a lack of trust and cooperation in future interactions. Make sure to check out Ginger Boss channel as they're going through the civil process at the moment. Let's continue. Hi. Here. For what? I'm stopping you. Okay, what's your name? Badge so, number, please. Officer Hibben. Hello. Or 57. Name, what's badge your name? number, please. Officer Crawford. Uh, I don't. I don't answer questions. Okay. So you were jaywalking. So what's your name? Uh, actually, I wasn't. I yes, checked both were. ways. I waited for okay. that light to turn green it did, twice. It, was it did red. not. It did not turn. It was red. Me. Okay. So you jaywalked. So what is the your name? The light was green. What is your the name? The walk was red, but I sat there and waited for it to change, and it would okay. not change for me. It was red, so you jaywalked. Which part was red? The walk sign. It is jaywalking. Okay, well it needs to be fixed then because it's not working. What am I supposed to so do? Just stand there? Name? I'm sorry, can you answer my question? What am I supposed to do? Just stand there? Do you have any ID on you? Uh, I do, but I'd rather not give okay. it. So you're jaywalking. I feel like this is a retaliation stop okay. so for, for me flipping you guys off. So you were jaywalking, so... My name's Trey. Let me see your license. Am I going to be arrested if I don't show it? Are you going to be arrested? Yes. Be interference. So it, is that arrestable? Yes, that is You'll arrested. be arresting me? Okay, I want it to be known that I am giving up my ID, not voluntarily. Okay. And this is a retaliatable stop. Why did you turn around when I flipped so you off? Citizen. Bef yeah, no, no, you're no, no. Don't no. ever say that again. That's slander. Okay. Yeah, no, I most certainly am no. not. No, I believe in law and order when it's done correctly, and you guys do not do it correctly. Order by county. You had a man just get ran over on his bike, and you're over here stopping me for flipping you off. This gentleman right here. Hey, Steven, you all right, man? Is that your name? Steven, right? Hey, Trey, how you doing? This man right here, how about getting him some fucking help? He just got ran over on his bike, and I watched the whole thing. But you guys would rather be messing with me for flipping you off. That makes a whole lot of sense. You guys are the tyrants of this city. You guys are the tyrants of this city. Okay. See, and again, they're still dealing with me and not dealing with you. You see, you see how these people represent the citizens of this city? Look, limping, he's obviously hurt. They got more, have you called an ambulance? Have you asked him if he's okay? Have, why are you asking me? Why don't you ask him? Why don't you go ask him? You obviously see he's hurt. Is it my duty or is it yours? Whose job is it? Whose job is it? But you can get a lawsuit right now. Fucking tyrants, man. You think you think this is gonna make people wanna like you? You think this is gonna help the bond with you guys and the citizens? Sitting here dealing with me because I flipped you off? I'm gonna be doing it all night, every day. Every day I see you guys. Every single day. Sovereign citizen, excuse me? No, I most certainly am not. Sovereign citizen is an oxymoron. To be sovereign is self-governing. To be a citizen is to work for somebody else. And it's slander. So you're not a sovereign citizen? Most certainly not. Most certainly not. I'm a free American. But you don't abide by the laws. Do you have my ID in your hand? You can make whatever assumptions you want. And you gave it to me under duress. Most certainly. Most certainly sense. because I believe that was retaliatory. You would not have stopped me if I would not have flipped you off. You would not have turned around before I ever even came to that intersection so I'm if I did not flip you off. You You're not upholding the law at all. Where was the risk to the where was the risk to the public and me jaywalking? What was it for my safety? So you can only follow certain laws. For my safety? Was it for my safety? I sat there wait look, has it turned green a single time since we've been sitting here? I will go sit at that light and I'll, this light better be fixed. Because the public has now the, the city has now been aware of it. It better be fixed. Yeah, most certainly, and I've already told you that. You, you can sit there and just play dumb, sir. You goofy looking. You can just sit there and play dumb. Go ahead. You're a dunce cap. You have no no oath to the Constitution at all. No, get the man some help. Sit here and stare me down all you want, dude. Sit here and stare me down all you want. Your body camera's not even on. Is that not a violation of your policy? When you approached me, it was, hey, stop, not, hey, this is my name, this is who I'm with. Is that not against your policy? To identify yourself, that's that's not against your, that, that's your policy, isn't it? To identify yourself? So anybody can walk up to me and say, hey, stop, and I gotta stop, just assume that they're law enforcement? 
Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should probably keep your mouth shut, dude. Are we finished with this? Are we finished? <clears throat> Anything else other than hindering my, my ability to travel here? Alright, you're good to go. Yeah. Don't jaywalk. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the ticket. Understanding that two wrongs don't make a right is fundamental when analyzing the actions of this police officer. While sticking his middle finger up at the officers may be provocative, it is protected under the First Amendment as a form of free speech. Trey, however, did jaywalk, which is a minor offense, but most would argue that the officer's primary focus should have been on the other man who was just hit by a car while riding his bike. This incident involving potential injury should take precedence over a trivial infraction like jaywalking. In situations when police officers allow their egos to dictate their actions, they can easily lose focus on their primary responsibilities. Law enforcement officers are tasked with maintaining public safety and addressing serious incidents promptly and effectively, allowing a perceived personal slight such as being flipped off. To divert their attention from a critical situation reveals a troubling susceptibility to ego-driven decision-making. Let's continue. Let me get my ID. Yeah, record this, Adrian. Why are we pulled over, sir? We just left the USF game and y'all driving aggressively and right up on my butt. Why would y'all drive in my, Thank and you. then you snatching it. Oh, because so you, you think you, your ID. you, so you snatched my ID, yes, right? For what reason? To identify you because it's a lawful traffic stop. The vehicle comes back unregistered. That's why. It's a brand new car. I just bought this car less than three weeks well, ago. It's not registered. <laughs> All right. ID on you, boss man? No, you ain't taking my son's IDs. They're my son's. Okay. And they, they, they very well. We went to a college USF game, and you got nothing Aren't better else to do. Kind of way, sir? Huh? Treating you like you're, no, you're but you asking my, you asking my I sixteen right year old for. He don't have an ID, and neither do my other one in the back seat. Okay, perfect. I have the right they to got ask a everybody ID. in the car for their ID. But, okay, what, what, let's get this straight. No, we you get nothing straight. I run this it's scene. Okay? It's, 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 it's nothing to be ran. It's nothing to be ran. It's nothing to be ran. He has my ID. He snatched my ID out my hand. All right, cool. Well, all right. So what? What else we need? Hey, just so you know, you have spike strips underneath your tire. So if you try to take off your Wait, car, spike no, strips. Yep. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I just want, I, you, okay. I just want you to know that. So that way okay. you don't try to take off okay. your tire. That's all. Okay, okay. that's okay. fine. Where well, we got to go, sir? Listen, all it is, it's simple, man. You guys was driving aggressively. I thought you was a a a, 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 a young person driving aggressively. You you ran the red light, and I'm like, look at these teenagers running the red light. Teaching my sons not to drive like that. But instead, y'all got behind me because I hit on brakes because I thought you was some teenagers driving aggressively, and I was teaching my sons not to Do drive I ever aggressively. Get a to talk? Huh? Do I ever get a chance to talk? What you we got to say? We because you committed a traffic violation. How oh, that's committed a traffic huh? violation? What did, traffic? Did you hear what the other officer told you? He what? didn't say it. What did the other officer tell he you? Didn't he never say said that. Actually, he said, sir, he he said his car is not registered. Okay, and that's a traffic violation. <laughs> it's a brand new car, and we just bought it. Okay, I'll tell you what. You, would you like for me to show you? I, here's the deal. No, here, I'll here, show here, you here, my here. registration. Listen, listen. Open the glove box. Yeah, grab, yeah, grab the grab, registration. Grab my registration. That's a bunch of nonsense. A brand new car I just bought, and you telling me it's not registered. Yep. So here's what happens. This, okay, hold on one second here. Okay, so. You straight? So, you, so what? Yeah, I'm getting ready to tell you. Okay. okay. Who did you purchase the car through? What you mean who I purchased it through? Who did you purchase, the, what, what, which what part of that What dealership? Yes. What, what yeah, dealership? Say what dealership, because you say what person. Person is a person. What dealership, Dude, Toyota or Tampa Bay? Listen, we'll just give him the ticket if he's done with this. It's, it's no ticket yeah. to be given. Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. Well, just just to know my, my father's a retired sergeant for the sheriff department. Me and my mom was well, TPD. Respect, so, so what? Did they teach me what? Have that respect to police officers, sir? Respect? Yes, sir. The last he, snatched my, he snatched my driver's license when I asked him what he pulled me over for. I had my ID right here. And he, I said, what you pulled me? You don't have to plead your case out to me. Mm -hmm. I don't have to what? Oh, okay, now we macho. The gang members are here, so they real hard now, guys. Yep. The gang members, yep. What's your badge number, sir? Yeah. Two, one, 
Uh huh. Yours too. Five five eight. Yours. Oh, I need it, names. We need no, names. My sixteen and fourteen. We need names. The USF game. We need names and <laughs> badge numbers, please. Are you showing you how they they would be harassed. Names. That's why I don't let them drive alone by themselves because they get harassed. He was driving aggressively. Names. Who was the driver? We need Which all one you the red light? You ran the red light right there, right? And the reason I stopped and hit on brakes and you pulled me is because I hit on brakes. Because you ran the red light. And I thought you was teenagers driving aggressively. And I say, look, sons, this is not how to drive. But that's how to talk to mm -mm. police. That's mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what's weird. That's exactly what happened. Now we got other gang members coming up. Gang members? Yeah, yeah, so that means yeah. You're, you're, you're a gang. You're straight? Yeah, yeah. They retired gang members. Oh, they're retired? Yeah, yeah, they retired. 30 plus years. They probably hired a few of you guys. You never no, know. Sir, they you don't know that. I do know that. <laughs> Macho man. Are you okay? You're looking kind of hard in here, sir. Oh. Gang members put on the show, huh? This is exactly why, you know, every day in and day out, daddy teach y'all have no clue who I am, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. This is exactly what I teach y'all, boy. Mm -hmm. Edu your education. Your education. Yeah. What they pulled enough for? <laughs> it's already 20 of you. You know what? When Daddy bought his brand new Dodge Charger in 2007, they did, and, the, same and they did the same thing with a paper tag. The other game members pulled me a brand new car. They did the same thing. Dang, bro. <laughs> gang member. Yep, 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 yep. It's a gang member. No, it wasn't a traffic stop. You ran the red light. You ran the red light and driving aggressively, and you look like a random car. And I told my sons, look at these guys driving aggressively. Don't drive like this, guys, when y'all start driving. And because I hit on brakes, that's why I got pulled off, because you was right on my butt. And I thought you was a teenager thinking you're a street hawk or something. Mm. Yeah, a street hawk. Street hawk, driving aggressively. I feel bad for you. <laughs> same, same yeah, yeah. I really yeah. feel bad for these poor kids. Yeah, and I local. feel bad for your poor tail too. Being, being taught by that such uh -huh. ignorance. Uh-huh, being taught by white people. I feel bad. Uh -huh. Victim of ignorance, don't even respond to that stuff. A victim of ignorance, that's all. Feel bad for us poor kids. Yeah. Deep down inside, uh -huh. I, I wish I could help uh -huh. you guys, man. Yeah. But Tell I, I fear that. I okay. fear that you're beyond belief. Right. You're okay. beyond help, man. You know that, that that office right there, the one in Ebor City. No, there's the sheriff. Cause you're a TPD officer, so you That's go out correct. of weakest link. You ain't even a you ain't even the sheriff. Hey, my we, father retired they, the they sheriff right here in Ebor City. So you are the weakest him, link. Be the sheriff. Be a sheriff. When you're done talking, be a county. Be, when you're done talking, county. let me know. I got something city, to say. City policemen are cowards. City policemen are cowards. All right, thank I turned you. Down hey, positions. tell your father thank him for his service from on my behalf. Yeah, man. yeah, he's, he's I'm deceased. appreciative. He's I'm, deceased. I'm appreciative of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, he's deceased. Stop moving. They're going to feel threatened. Oh, yeah, okay. They're yeah. going to feel threatened. I was just putting the registration right. up. It's all good. They're going to feel threatened. Some type Sir, of there's very little you or your family you can do to threaten me right now, man. Yeah. Definitely right. If it makes you feel any safer. No, yeah, I, don't look at that. Know. I feel very safe. That's good. That's yep. our that's our job, man, oh, to make yeah. everybody in the community feel like safe. It. Hey, don't don't tell no, wrestling with you. I'm not telling wrestling. I'm just defending myself with yeah. my words. You yeah. all good. Don't say anything. He beating on my bike window for my son, thir 13 years old back there, he beating on the back window. Okay, sir, let me, can I explain something to <laughs> no, you? No, no, I'm going to see a sergeant after all y'all give me my stuff back okay, because well, sir, he was beating the on the back have, window with my 13-year-old. We have a criminal charge right now. We can take you to jail. So oh, criminal criminal charge? To what criminal you charge you got listen. on me? You're operating a motor vehicle that is not registered in the state of Florida. That's a criminal charge, okay? So we can just check me out. Please, please don't don't walk yourself into jail now. We're walk not trying to take you to jail. jail. You're, understand this. Your mouth. You're operating your mouth. motor vehicle that's, that's not mouth. registered. That's a criminal that's charge. It's a misdemeanor. Okay. Okay. So, so if these so officers the tag, want you, they can they take just, you to jail. They just, they just, my tag just Sir, came in the mail though. Your vehicle is not registered. <laughs> Whatever you got going on with the dealership, that's on you. You're responsible for on. operating and maintaining this vehicle. Right now, you're operating a vehicle that's not registered. It's a misdemeanor in the state of Florida. We can take you to jail and we can impound the vehicle. Systematically something in the system that got I, screwed I, up. Sir, that's not on but, us. That's, that's not, not on us. It's not on us either. Yes, the dealership messed up it's on, on something. It's on you, sir. It's on you. I, it's not, so, it's, so check this I, out. No, but I would say, they just mailed me my... I'm not going to raise my voice. No, they just mailed me my tag. My fiance can send me my tag right now. But I'm saying, I got a question. I got a question. He's trying to explain something to you. 
Come okay. over here and talk to me. Question. All right. If it's not registered, why did they send me a tag? Wait Sir. to ask your question when he's oh done explaining it. That would make me. sense. I want to talk okay? to you over there because the next yeah. step is putting you in handcuffs and taking it. Putting him in handcuffs. Ten police cars, and we in the wrong because we just got a car. That is crazy. Definitely know the law. Exactly. Why are you knocking on a 14-year-old window? That's okay. We thought you had an attitude also. Yeah. I need my glasses. Can I get my glasses? The unprofessional conduct of the officers driven by anger rather than a commitment to the law is deeply concerning. While the driver's action may have been a poor decision, it does not justify the officer's behavior. Running a red light in an unmarked vehicle, reacting unprofessionally to the driver's legitimate frustration, making baseless threats of arrest, and failing to handle the situation calmly and respectfully all demonstrate a severe lapse in judgment and conduct. Threatening to take the father to jail simply because the car was not registered, despite him providing proof of recent purchase and registration, is a clear abuse of power. Such threats are not only unjustified, but also indicative of an intent to intimidate rather than uphold the law. When officers allow their emotions to dictate their actions, it undermines their ability to perform their duties effectively and ethically. It's the responsibility of the police to set a positive example and de-escalate volatile encounters. Two wrongs don't make a right, and this clip is evidence that the saying still stands today. But that's gonna do it for this video. Much love to these awesome creators. Again, make sure you use the links in the description to go check out their channels and show them some love. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You're the real CT3 fam. And without you, there's no CT3. Remember, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. And until next time, peace.